another foggy day here in town and uh, even though I love this fog of course I do uh, I think I'm running out of places where to go this is not a big town and as I've said before uh, this fog is very localized it's just here in town and uh, maybe a mile into the suburbs or the countryside but that's about it so I think I've been everywhere uh, around here this might be one of the very few streets I haven't been on in the last few weeks so I'm trying it but yeah the conditions are beautiful here it's a beautiful day a little bit chilly uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make new images but uh, it's all about trying and I hope you join me today so let's go So I'm not in downtown, uh, just yet at least, but uh, I'm more into town today than I usually like to do because the fog is pretty thick this morning. So I was hoping to be able to find some images uh, in between buildings and these open fields that are between buildings. Images that usually wouldn't work because, well, there are a lot of buildings and a lot of details everywhere, very busy scenes. Uh, scenes that might work this morning because of this very thick fog but uh, for now I'm still looking for those images I hope to uh, to find some so I like a tree here at the other side of the street but there is a car there but hopefully I can avoid it something like that yeah that that's kind of cool Let's have to wait for the cars to pass by. All right, now it's my chance. Come on. Uh, too close. Something like that. I'm just trying to decide if I should include some of the road or just the sidewalk. But again, I'm just going to go with a wider shot so I can change or I can uh, make that decision later. Right now, I think I like to, to add a little bit of the road, but I might change my mind later. I like the tree. It's a very strong shape there. And I like the... Uh, path down here it's kind of a leading line to to the background yeah kind of cool so I think that was the um, first image I like of the morning and uh, I'm feeling much better already train tracks are always always a good subject just be careful with the train but uh, they look very good in the fog Especially from that other side. I'm gonna cross. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna love it. So I'm gonna try to do it from here. 
to get more of those houses there. I have to get a little bit lower. Something like that. Uh, something like that. Another one. I'm just trying different framings, including the roof of the houses or including more train track, including that post there on the left or not. So, yeah, I like to try, uh, I like to take different variations of the same thing. This is going to look pretty good here. There are a lot of power lines. Hopefully, there is a path through them because I'm getting excited here. I don't know if you can see the power lines there. That could be very cool. Oh yeah, there is a path, so I'm definitely going there. This is pretty cool. Well, this is a place that is uh, new to me. I don't know why I had never been here before, but now I am. Uh, I kind of wish I had brought my wide-angle lens now. Ay, ay, ay. Well, it's going to be a little bit tighter than I would like. I'm going to switch to my, uh, because I'm using the 35, 1.4 now, I'm going to switch to the uh, Tamron 28 to 200. It's not a lot, but it gives me seven more millimeters on the wide side. I think I'm going to have to step on the field it's wet, I'm gonna get wet, but I think it's totally worth it. Okay, so it's a little bit wider now. Probably almost enough. So this is my main subject, this uh, power line there, that uh, one in the middle. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller on the left and then the smaller ones on the right. It is a composition that I'm really really liking right now let's see i'm trying to uh, by pointing up the camera i'm trying to avoid that little shed or whatever that is uh, so it disappears here on the uh, bottom of the image but also i'm trying to get more of the actual power lines i guess that's the name of the uh, cables while still keeping every uh, every post in the frame and I think this is going to be very very nice I really definitely have to come back here with a wide angle lens um, this one could be cool too I don't know I'm not so sure about this one uh, it's cool the the, uh, the composition is cool as you can see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit you can see the power lines there and uh, if I zoom in like this, that could be a cool photo, but I think it's much better when you zoom out and you see all those power lines coming to the corner, to the top left and top right corner of the frame. That is very, very nice. I really like it. But when I do that, the, uh, the actual posts or the, yeah, let's call them the posts uh, of the power lines get a little bit uh, too small and not strong enough because of the fog um, so the subject is not very clear um, in this image or yeah this uh, image so hopefully that's hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying but uh, that's um, a mistake that I've seen happening and it's a mistake that I've made in the past for sure is that I see a very cool subject on a foggy day but it's a distant subject and it looks cool to my eyes and even it might even look cool in camera but then because the objects that are farther away they are more affected by the fog you can't really see them very well so it looks like you're looking at nothing when you look at the image. It's, uh, you really need a subject that is uh, uh, close to you and that is strong enough to uh, stand out in the fog. 
I hope you are enjoying the video. I just wanted to take a moment to thank all my patrons for their generous contributions. They make all of these that I, that I do possible. And today I wanted to highlight the work of one of them, Terry Olsen. Terry has been a big supporter of mine for a long time. I really appreciate all he's done for me. And today I wanted to share some of his work. He's got a Flickr account. I've gone through his photos and I love them all. So I think it would be worth for all of you to go there and check it out as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. I'm also going to leave the link to my Patreon page where you can sign up for any of the tiers that I offer. I host live streams. I give shout outs like this one. We also have conversations one on one and even uh, signed prints. And now let's go back to the video. I'm in the countryside now, uh, kind of, because there's a road right here next to me. The town or city is at the other side of the road, so it's pretty close, but here, uh, on the other side of that road, people have, uh, you know, houses with yards and uh, gardens and farms and whatnot. So it's a little bit more open. There are no buildings. So I think I'm going to have a better chance of making uh, images out here. The fog is still pretty thick, but it's clearing up and uh, I can already see some blue in the sky. So I know how long I'm going to have, but... Sometimes the autofocus doesn't work that well in the fog, so you gotta make sure that whatever you're trying to get in focus, it is really in focus. I use autofocus and I use this uh, button here on the back to, to do the focusing. So I can just press and really quickly focuses on where I want. I have it set uh, the point in the middle. Uh, it's easier for me. I, I have more control over where to focus that way. But uh, I use the uh, DMF mode, as you can see, so I can press and focus, for example, here, this building. I can focus on that little window, and if I keep it pressed, if I hold it there, and I, uh, and I use the manual focus uh, ring on the lens, it lets me uh, manual focus as well. So I think this is the best of both worlds, because you have the speed and uh, the convenience of autofocus but you can at any moment without changing any settings uh, engage uh, manual focus so you have complete control over uh, whether the where your camera is focusing so i really like using that mode So for a while now, everything that I'm, I'm getting around here is just power lines. There are not as many houses or farms around here. So there is a lot of very dense vegetation. Uh, I can't see any images around here. So I'm going to uh, start heading back to town this way. So hopefully I can find more open spaces, more lawn trees or any kind of human made structure something that it could be something that could be interesting to uh, make an Im to make an image of uh, it is very peaceful uh, here though uh, i can hear the birds chirping and there is no one no traffic and it's foggy it's perfect but there are not as many images here so to get wet or not to get wet that is the question but uh I'll do it for the video, for the gram, for whatever. 
I don't know if this is going to be worth it, but I uh, I need a different angle. Da, da, da. I think that looks cool. Huh. That could actually be cool. Uh, so, well, yeah, I'm gonna take a, quite a few images here. Um, I think that um, haystack, I guess, I'm gonna call it that way, is the most interesting to me because it has that, it's broken there, it's cut. So I tried to capture that and I'm using the other ones, the three here in the foreground, well, to, to hide the foreground. Or maybe we can use this, uh, the gap between those two as a leading line or maybe to add something more. Some interest, I guess, to the photo. I know, I'm just playing with this. Probably doesn't make much sense saying it out loud like that, but you see from here, it's not as interesting to me to, to that we are able to see this, uh, the foreground here, the grass in the foreground. It was more interesting from, from here. At least that's the way I'm seeing it now, too. We will see. And uh, there's another group of them here. Okay, there are some weeds. Definitely closer. Ah, could look good. <coughs> well, I think that's that's enough. Nah, it's it's kind of lovely here. It could, it has the potential for a good composition, but I, I, I really can't see. I really can't see it. I, I'm gonna take this one, but uh, I, yeah, not not entirely sure what I'm trying to capture here. So that's probably not going to work. But the uh, the force is strong with the fog today, man. Uh, it's still pretty foggy. It's already two hours after sunrise and it's still pretty foggy. You can see much farther uh, than uh, before. So it's clearing up, of course, but uh, uh, it's still, yeah, sticking around and it might give me a little bit extra time to take some photos this morning. But um, I rushed out of the door as usual. So I haven't had any breakfast, uh, I'm hungry, but uh, that's fine. It's totally worth it, totally worth the effort and the sacrifice. Okay, another one for my side project.
There are some goats over here. Hello goat. Hello goat. Hello. Hello, look at me. There you go. No, don't go. There you go. There you go. Okay. It's a very sketch spot. Hello. 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 I know. There you go. Might be focusing on the fence. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, but the ones in the background are not as cool now. You are though. You are. Well, look at that. That's a skull of some animal. I don't know what it could be. I'm pretty bad at it, but it could be a small dog. It could be a lamb. Even though there are some teeth there, pretty big. I know. I'm back in town. It's still foggy, but much, much less than before. So I'm gonna call it a morning. It's been almost three hours out here. I think I got a couple images that I'm going to like, but above all, it was uh, fun. And it's always beautiful to be out in these conditions. I hope you all enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.